Okay, so to get right into it, we're going to want to start with some type of eyeshadow primer. And here I'm using the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And this is just going to help the eyeshadow stick to your eyes better and it's also going to help it stay longer. For the crease, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and I'm going to be using Chopper. And this is a Sigma. I had it in my favorites video. It was a sample. I will look up the name for you and put it below. I'm going to be using the Sigma brush and just patting this right into my crease and blending it all the way out. Once you're done with your crease, we can now move on to the outer corner of the eye. And for this, I'm going to be just dipping the same brush into Snake Bite and, sorry, let me look real fast, and Suspect, sorry. And I'm just going to be patting that onto the outer corner of the eye just to give it a little bit more definition. to the lid I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm actually going to spritz it with my MAC setting spray just to help this even come out a little bit more pigmented and this one is in half baked and it's such a pretty like cop not copper but champagne color I'm just going to be patting that all over the lid I'm going to be putting on my eyeliner. I'm just going to be doing a wedged eyeliner. This is the BH Cosmetic Onyx Gel Liner. And after that, I'm going to be taking MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And uh, I'm serious, obsessed with this stuff and use it every day that I wear makeup. I love it to death. So it's definitely something that is a must buy and something that I'm going to have to buy when it runs out. So then I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. stippling brush and I'm going to spritz it again with the MAC setting spray and I'm just going to blend all of that out. So next I'm going to be taking matte blunt and I'm going to take a medium sized fluffy dome brush and I'm just going to start contouring my face. I'm going to do, you know, on my forehead and in my temples and then just my cheekbones just to define those a little bit more and a little bit along my nose just to kind of make it look or make it appear a little bit smaller than what it is. Next is time for mascara and I already did ap apply false lashes and I am using the, the new Revlon line and I will put everything in the description box. And then I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics, um, it's the BH Hollywood and I'm going to be taking this green bright color and I'm going to begin using this with a MAC setting spray. This just helps make it stick longer and makes it way more vibrant. So I'm going to be applying that to the lower lash line all the way and extend it out to the bottom of the top eyeliner. And also I'm going to be putting it in my waterline as well. And for any of you guys that didn't know, you can turn any eyeshadow into basically a liquid liner in seconds by using some type of setting spray or anything like that. this off I'm going to just be applying mascara to my bottom lashes for the cheeks I'm going to be using this BH cosmetic Daisy duo I'm going to be using this type of um, it's kind of like a vibrant pink color I'm just going to be applying that to my cheeks
lips and I'm going with this L'Oreal uh, I can't even remember the name right now but I will put it in the bottom description it is this very very like fuchsia bright pink color and I feel like no spring color is complete without some type of bright lipstick sorry spring makeup and I'm just going to be applying that to the lips and then I'm going to be applying this um, glitter from BH Cosmetics and it's just like a really sparkly it kind of has like green in it so I thought it was perfect for the green eyeliner on the bottom I'm going to be again spritzing that with the MAC setting spray and then I'm just going to be patting that right there on the lid where I put the half baked it for this look I will have all the products listed below and be sure to check out my 3k subscriber giveaway love you guys bye